first thing I do when I wake up is run downstairs to make coffee, but today this handsome prince made it for me, so score. Anyways, I just happily slurped that down while I did my journaling because yes, I journal now. I've only been doing this for a week, but I honestly feel like it's a really good habit and I'm getting a lot out of it. So I think I will continue doing it. It also makes me feel like a wellness queen. Then I had a little snack, a handful of homemade granola and got on the bike for my bike shakeout because I do my shakeouts on the bike on workout days. Also always cover the clock with a towel. It really helps. And I just did that. It was a 30 minute bike, nothing hard. Just kind of spinning the legs, getting the juices flowing. Done. Shake out complete. Even though it isn't hard, I still sweat profusely. So afterwards, I grabbed some element to get in some electrolytes and sipped on that while I did a bit of a mobility routine. I've actually been also doing mobility very consistently for a while. I still think I'm about as mobile as maybe like an average 70 year old, but I'm working on it. And so at least I'm not getting less mobile, I hope, because I honestly, if I did, it would be the end of the world. Anyways, then I made breakfast and gave Georgie some apples. It was oatmeal. And I know this looks like slop, but it's actually good. And then some blended cottage cheese, cinnamon, microwaved apples, and of course topped with more cinnamon and granola. This was delicious. And while I ate that, I just did some work on my computer, responded to some comments on my last video. Then I got ready to go to the workout and that included also making a double shot of espresso, which I shook up with some brown sugar, added almond milk, and this is delicious. And then I gave Georgie some lunch, which he really didn't want at all, but I was like, Georgie, you gotta eat, boy. Then we headed to the track and Spence drove there because honestly, I hate driving. And then I did some activation and we started our warm up, which was a jog. And then we did ins and outs, which is where you stride the straights and then jog the curves. And Spence brutally dropped me and I was sad. But I managed to recover from that heartbreak and get back to the warm up. I changed into my carbon shoes and then did some more strides and drills, way more strides than I needed to do because basically I realized that once the strides are done, I need to start the workout. And so I just continue the process of striding for much longer than necessary. All right, what do we have on deck? All right, so today we have seven by 1200 and then four by 200. The 12s are supposed to be from LT2 down to like intensive LT2 or even a little faster. And then the twos are just to get the legs spinning. So yeah, should be a good workout. It's kind of a long one, but I'm gonna be in lane one of the track, which I haven't been in in quite some time. So yeah, excited for it and should be good. So the half marathon that I'm doing is Pikes Peak, which is all uphill at an average of about 12% grade. So you might be wondering, Allie, why are you doing a workout on a track? that it's like the most flat surface that exists. Well, this is a threshold workout. And basically threshold training is where you're trying to get to the zone where your body is producing and getting rid of lactate at the same rate. And it's a really small zone. It's pretty hard to be in. And it's much easier to stay in that zone when you're on a consistent surface because that means that your effort will be consistent if the pace is consistent. So that's why I'm on a track and this workout was really fun because I love track and I haven't really gotten to do lane one reps in a while and I was also getting to run a little bit faster because as I said, some of these reps were intensive LT2, which is where you go a little bit past threshold but the reps are short enough that you can recover back to that threshold zone by the time you start the next one. And I got to do that today. And so it's always fun to get to push the pace just a little bit and feel a little bit of a burn. After the 1200s, I did some 200s just to get the legs spinning a bit. I'm on to my 200s now and I am definitely doing this 200. This whole stretch is so windy. It is, I think like a class three hurricane or so. It is miserable, let me tell you.
very windy day. Getting speed back in the legs is always a long process, but I was excited to start it with these 200s because feeling speedy is one of the best feelings that exists. I definitely didn't quite feel speedy today, but I did feel like I was running faster than I have in quite some time, which is a good feeling. And Zeth actually ran next to me while filming during this rep, which kind of shows that I'm not going that fast if he can film at the same pace that I'm running. But that's besides the point. I just wanted to point out that in this clip, you can see that I'm pushing. You can tell that I'm trying to run fast and I wanna be able to run this pace in a couple months or a few months, however many, and look really relaxed. That to me would be progress, the same pace, but looking like it's easy and like I could go forever instead of looking a little bit strained and like I'm definitely pushing. How'd the twos go? Um, they were decent, yeah. I like really haven't done much speed work in the last, <laughs> since April. So um, that was the most speed I've done since then sandbag just felt like pretty hard um and aggressive next time i do them they'll feel like half as hard i definitely felt like a bit of a slug out there <laughs> after the workout we went home and i made a quick lunch which obviously involved giving georgie the cheese tax it was just this salad with leftovers and then this leftover burrito thing as well. And then I ate that and just did some work, checked emails, yada yada. Then we played frisbee with Georgie to get his energy out. <laughs> Game over, George. <laughs> With hard training days like this one, it's really important for me to take extra care in helping my body to recover and feel good, which is why I've been loving using the Heat Pulse by Hydragun. Now this is a knee brace that has both heat and massage therapy that is easy to put on and fits multiple sizes of limbs. And what it does is it just sits on your knee, you attach this power compartment, and then you can adjust the temperature and the vibration settings to help ease joint pain. Once you put it on, it automatically goes for 30 minutes so then I can just edit videos or read a book or if I'm feeling less productive, watch Love Island, but it'll automatically turn off so you don't have to worry about that. This helps my knees feel loose and I think it's a really good recovery tool to just stay on top of any joint pain before it becomes an issue that inhibits your training. So if you'd like to try it, go to the link in my description and you can get $15 off. Thank you Hydragun for sponsoring this video. And it was time to head to the gym for workout number three, a lift. And I was frowning because it was raining, not because I didn't want to do this. Lifting is very important and I've been really enjoying it this year. I can feel myself getting stronger, my core, my arms, my legs, all over. Your best flex. Good. Friend Alexis lifts with me sometimes, but she hasn't been able to come in a while, but today she could. <laughs> Don't take three months off from the gym, kids. <laughs> It's always great to have someone else to lift with because as much as I know that it's important and it makes me a better runner and athlete, it's hard for me to motivate myself to do this when I'm alone. Going big time. <laughs> this could be you one day, kids. <laughs> this bar is heavier than the normal bar. <laughs> it's hot going big. This bar is heavier. So yeah, Alexis and I are both putting up pretty big numbers on the bench these days. Um, but after the lift, I made a protein shake and then we just took Georgie out on a walk and he was loving it outside and also he was perfect. He's, he is perfect. I don't know how he does it, but he gets cuter every single day. And once we got back, I started making dinner. The theme tonight was kind of Southern barbecue and my childhood friend, Sid, came over and ate with us and it was really fun and delicious as well. Then afterwards, I just chilled, ate some ice cream, and we watched One Piece. And that was the full day in the life. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. And yeah, that's all for now, folks.